Hello, Aussies worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Troy Ball, and he is KK0TLB. And he has a couple questions. He goes hiking with a two meter rig, and he has, uh, he wants to put a little amplifier in his backpack and uh, have a backpack mounted antenna. Uh, he says, first of all, can you overpower an antenna? He has an antenna rated for 20 watts, but the amplifier he's looking at, uh, B Tech Amp, uh, B Tech Amp V25D, will put out 40 watts. And the answer is yes, you can overdrive an antenna and burn it out. Um, a lot of antennas uh, can actually handle a lot more power than they're rated for, and others not so sure that that's true. Okay, if this is a, a little VHF, UHF, um, handheld a slightly larger antenna, like for a backpack, something like that, yes, you can overrun it. Now, I wanna talk about your, your last question uh, next. Um, I am planning on using this in a backpack so the antenna will be within inches of my head. Is there any danger to me? The answer is most certainly and positively yes, there is. In fact, just using a handheld with the antenna only about that far from your head is, according to the formulas, uh, putting more uh, power into your head uh, than you want. Now, if you go from the two to five watts and go from the, the 20 to go to 20 to 40 watts, you're just making that absolutely worse. Um, the effect of the radiation at that frequency, it's non-ionizing, uh, it is heating, heating that happens. And I might point out that the thing in your head most susceptible to heating is your eyes. And you don't want to uh, do anything to those because heating beyond a certain point becomes irreversible. Um, you probably wouldn't get that point with this setup, but uh, according to the formulas given by the Federal Communications Commission, you've got too much power there if you've got like two and a half to five watts uh, from a handheld just held in a normal position like that. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, police fire hold the thing essentially upside down to get the antenna down here, which is a good idea. Uh, another is to get a speaker mic with the antenna in the back use a speaker mic with the thing so that the antenna is away from you. I would definitely not try to transmit 25 amps on 2 meters or 440 um, with a body mounted uh, amplifier and battery. Uh, just, it's, uh, I don't know, gives new meaning to the term hothead. Um, anyway, uh, he has uh, so I think that's the two questions he had, yes. Um, do you have an antenna that you would like to recommend? Preferably it would be light foldable. I don't always need it f f to hike. Rated for 40 watts. Yes, I do. Uh, there is a, oh, let me just, one moment, I'll get it. <coughs> I did this, demonstrated this fairly recently in a video, so it's still here. This is definitely a foldable antenna. You can see here on the overhead screen. The uh, end of the antenna has got this string hook on it so that you can put this um, around a branch. And then it's a uh, two meter 440 J pole. The guts are wrapped in plastic here. And there is a little notch in there helping it work that way. And here's your basic J pole um, connection and the uh, cable, which goes to 
your radio. Now this particular Slim Jim sort of configuration right here, except it's dual band, uh, uses the PL359. You're probably going to have to get an adapter for anything that's VHF, because at most uh, the VHF stuff uses BNC. Um, and the commercial um, mobile radios have uh, SO239s uh, on them. And so this is a very nice little light, very light antenna that you can fold up and then when you need to operate some distance or talk to somebody some distance away, just either hold it up with your hand, with one hand and operate the radio with the other hand and uh, or just hang it from a tree while you sit down and take a little bit of a rest. This is a full-size J-pole so it's going to give you a pretty pretty good signal out of wherever you are. Uh, if you wanted to use an amp with that you could but keep it away from you. Um, now if you carry that 25 watt amp, uh, a 40 watt amp Good grief, you're, you're talking a serious battery to go with that. These are the batteries I would use with it for portable operation. This is a BioNO Power lithium iron phosphate battery. It's not, it's several pounds, but it's still lighter than the equivalent lead acid. This is 144 watt hours. And the nice thing is you can run these almost all the way down. Uh, whereas, a lead, whereas a lead acid battery, like this Duracell here, 8 amp hours, you can actually only use about 4 amp hours for you really, really need to charge it again. Plus this is significantly heavier than the uh, lithium iron phosphate although it also is also significantly less expensive. So you pay your money and takes your choice. If you're going to be Iron Man uh, traipsing through the hills, then uh, by all means get the cheaper lead acid battery, otherwise use the other. So I think that answers your question. Uh, you put that much power to an antenna you're wearing on your uh, backpack is too much. You've got RF safety issues there. Um, this one right here, this is a portable antenna. You can use it while moving if you like attach it to a stick or something like that. But remember RF safety there. So, uh, Troy, I hope that answers your question. Thanks to all of you for watching. Please help feed the algorithm by subscribing to this channel. It really helps me. Also, by clicking like. And if you would like, you can... Um, also leave a comment. If you'd like to support this channel financially, which I would be quite happy if you did, uh, go to decastlercom slash support and it shows you several ways you can do it there. Until we next meet, 73.